You're watching America This Morning, America's number one early morning news. We begin with the protests across the nation following the acquittal of George Zimmerman. The pictures coming in overnight are so powerful. People demonstrated across the country from New York City all the way to Los Angeles. Police made several arrests at more than one demonstration. An American flag was even burned at one of the rallies in California. ABC's Preeti Arla joining us live now with more on that. Good morning, Rob and Diana. Well, the verdict triggered strong emotions across the country. While both sides have their supporters, those who felt that Trayvon Martin was denied justice took to the streets to voice their concerns. From coast to coast. Not guilty. The impact of that verdict read in a Sanford, Florida courtroom continues to be felt across the country. I couldn't imagine being that family right now. I just thought we were going to get some kind of justice. Emotions ran high after a jury found George Zimmerman not guilty in the death of 17-year-old Trayvon Martin. Authorities in Oakland, California say demonstrators vandalized businesses. So people are just still very angry. But in most other places, peaceful protests, both small and large, against what's being called a miscarriage of justice. Hundreds taking to the streets, carrying signs, calling for justice for Trayvon. This is a 17-year-old kid who was murdered by a vigilante who followed him, profiled him, and shot him dead, and it can't go on. The jury's decision sparked debate about the legal justice system. The most unrepresentative jury in the first place. Jury of six women, not one African American, not one male, certainly not a jury of his peers. A bishop in Texas hopes the outcry leads to a better system where people are held responsible for their crimes no matter the color of their skin. But others believe the system worked just as it should. Jurors say he's not guilty, so he's not guilty. And there are calls for the Department of Justice to step in and file federal civil rights charges against Zimmerman. They say they are looking into the case. Robin Diana. And Preeti, with emotions boiling over in this case, we hear that both sides have some concerns about their own safety. Yeah, Zimmerman's lawyer says that his client did nothing wrong, but that he's getting death threats as he did throughout the trial and that he's had to wear a bulletproof vest, vest while he's out in public. And the same goes with Trayvon Martin's family, their lawyer saying that they're also facing threats and that they've been forced underground as a result of that, Diana. All right, Preeti Arla for us this morning in Washington. Thank you.